Good morning or good afternoon, students. Uh, today, we're gonna do some practice problems on multi-step equations. All right, I want you guys to copy this down on a piece of paper or in your notebook, these three problems. Uh, pause the video, give it a try on your own because you guys already saw how to do them. Yeah, pause it. Hopefully you guys paused it. Hopefully you guys gave it a try. If not, pause it, give it a try, and we're gonna work it out right now to see if you got them right. Okay, now we're gonna work through them. You guys know the process. You're combining like terms. You see x's and you see constants. You want to combine them. He has negative 10, it's negative 2. You have this 8x minus 5x. You have a 8 minus 5 is going to give you 3x. Negative 10 minus 2 is going to give you this negative 12. Uh, equals 24. Now you have a two step equation. Now uh, you move the 12 to the other side. You add 12, this, that disappears. You add 12 to this side. You rewrite the problem. You have 3x equals 36. You divide 3 to both sides. Uh, divide by 3, that disappears. You divide by 3 here. x equals 12. And that is going to be your answer. Now, for number 2, uh, we have this distribute. Uh, we have to distribute this 2. So now, this 2 distributes to both of them. Uh, 2 times this 5x is going to give you 10x. This 2 times this negative 3 is going to give you negative 6. You bring down this negative 6x. You rewrite the rest of the problem. Now you have these two these x's right here that you want to combine. You have this 10x and you have this negative 6x. Combine them. The x's go together, constants go together. 10 minus 6 is going to give you 4x minus 6 and then equal negative 50. All right, now you add six to the other side. Add six, add six. Now you have four x, this disappears. You have the four x equals negative 44. Now uh, do the opposite of multiplication, divide by four to both sides. Divide by four, negative 44 divided by, negative 44 divided by four is gonna give you x equals negative 11. And that is going to be your answer for number two. Now for the final one. Uh, like I said before, you combine like terms. So whatever you see as the same, you combine this 6x, negative 4x. You're going to combine those. The constants 5 and 7, that's what you're going to combine as well. So you combine them, you rewrite it, and that is basically what you're going to do. 6 minus 4 is going to give you 2x. 5 plus 7 is going to give you 12 um, equals x plus 12. Now, like I said in the previous video, x to one side, constants to the other side. Uh, subtract 12, that disappears. Subtract 12 over here. Do the x as well, move it to the other side. You get minus x. Over here, you get minus x. Uh, you then get, rewrite the problem. This x disappears, don't don't worry about that. 2x minus x is going to give you x. 12 minus 12 is going to give you 0. And that is going to be your final answer. x can be 0. Um, it might not be often that you see x is 0, but it could be 0. Uh, if you have any doubts of any answer you get, you can always plug it in to the x, work it out, and see if you actually get the same answer on both sides. If you get 24, it's going to equal 24. So yeah, that is how you know you got the right answer. Hopefully you guys learn. Hopefully you guys uh, understand how to do multi-step equations now. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully you learned a lot. And I will see you in the next video.